sometimes I wonder why are these things coming all into our newsletters? But let me tell you something. In all the things of this, boys, boys, listen up. I want you all to be quiet today. In all the midst of this, turn with me to John 14 and verse 3. John 14 and verse 3. I want, I want you to have your Bibles. Your Bibles that remember said to you, get your children Bibles. That when they come to church or when they're at home, they have something to read. John 14 and verse 3. What it says? I go and do what? Yes. To fear what? Yes. A place in all the persecution, in all the crime and violence and the fires and the snow and all of this. God says, I am going to do what? Yes. To fear, prepare a place. And what? Yes. All right, I want you to remember this. In preparing a place, he's working. He's our intercessor, he's our advocate, he's our friend, he's our guide, he's our protector. Everything that encompasses what he does is for us. Because he says, I go to prepare a place. Go to Amos, Amos 4 and verse 12. Amos 4, Amos 4 and verse 12. I want you to keep in mind that in all that we will be going through as children of God, he says, I am gone to prepare a place. And I'm going to come back. Amos 4 and verse 12, what it says? He's going to do what? I want you to be, I want you to think. He's going to, what has he going to do? To prepare a place. And he says to you, prepare to do what? To prepare to do what? Sure, I want you to, I want you to be on bright and educated in the word. We have much work to do. We are 
have a message to bear. Prepare to meet thy God. We must lift up a standard that bear the three angels' message. The commands of God and the faith of Jesus Christ. Satan is using a power now because he wants to do away with God's truth. And remember, to get Israel to go into Babylon, they have to forget what was the commands of God. Listen to me. To get Israel to go into Egypt, they have to forget what it means to walk with God. To get Southern Adventists to mingle with Roman Catholics and Presbyterians and Anglicans and all these things and bring them in our pulpit is to forget the command of God. Do you think that Rome changes? Rome never changes. She has an agenda. She's working under the disguise of Satan to do away with the law of God, to do away with the truth. He worked in heaven and deceived one third of the angels and pulled them down here on earth. Now they are demons. Working to counter that which is pure and honest and good. So he says, prepare. And those who are preparing, they must have good understanding. They can't be fools. Everybody who is preparing must have good understanding. Even though we will be, we will be faced with persecution and perilous signs are here, we must prepare. 2 Timothy 3.1 2 Timothy 3 and verse 1. I want you to read that for me. 2 Timothy 3 and verse 1. 2 Timothy 3 What it says? Let me, let, I'm going to ask you something. If you were living in Australia, and you see fire around you, fire around you, around your house, and there's no way out, what would you do? Hmm. Over 30 persons have died. Listen to me. If you see that sign and smoke come down and you come down on your house and you wait, you can't run, you can't do nothing. Can you tell us what Jamaican people we have been very easy now? But the time is coming when you will not be. And we have taken this ease for granted.
2 Corinthians 3, 17. What it says. will be taken away from us. You must be free. You must have the spirit of Christ that dwells in you, that makes you free. The word is stirred right now today with a spirit of violence. And the word, the word is ready to kill self diabetes. But if you are not a true self diabetes, you are not a problem. Because a lot of us will renounce the faith that we now have. Because you know what? We have never had been tried. We, we don't have an experience where we have been tried and tested, and then God will come through for us. The third angel's message is a message to separate from Babylon. But we are joined up with Babylon. In many ways, we have joined with Babylon. Revelation 13, 1 to 10 tells us about this papacy that has an agenda. Revelation 17 calls Earth and all of Revelation 7 tells us that she's the little mom. 2 Thessalonians tells us that listen, she wants to sit in the temple of God.
will take over your life. All of us. We must die. In all ages, God has appointed witnesses who were exposed to reproach and persecution for the truth's sake. Joseph, you remember him? Joseph was maligned and persecuted because his he preserved his virtue and dignity. David, the chosen messenger of God, was funded by a beast for prey by his enemies. Daniel was cast in the den of lions because he was true to his allegiance to heaven. Job was deprived, deprived of his worthy possession. So afflicted his body that he was abhorred by his relatives and friends, yet he maintained his integrity. Jeremiah could not be deterred from speaking the words that God had given him to speak. And his testament was so enraged that the king and princes cast him in a lonesome pit. Stephen was stoned because he preached Christ and he crucified. Paul was in prison because in prison, beat with rods, stoned and finally put to death because he was faithful to the message that God gave him to the Gentiles. And John. John alone was banished to the Isles of Patmos. Do you know what I just did? I just show you the standard by which all of us are saved. Let me tell you something. It's beautiful. Can you imagine a man preaching and he preaching? His testimony was of such that all they wanted to do was to kill him. But they put him in a boiling jug of oil and cook him. What would you do if they chain you up and tie you against a stake, against a wooden tree? A wooden tree? Tie you up. They're ready to burn you. What would you do? What would you do if they throw you into a, a theater where there were lions and bears and all these dangerous animals? What would you do if they tie one man over there and tie one man over there? No. Some horses over there and some horses over there and you pull it to the side. What would you do? Are you ready for that? There's a place in London called Man of the Soul. When you go to that place, they show you the things that they use to kill Christians. Right now, the Roman Catholic Church is planning another massacre. Because in many of her churches, they go on miles on the ground now where they're planning for the Christians. The persecution is here and it is rapidly approaching Jamaica. But the Bible says we must be prepared to do what? To meet our God. So if you prepare to meet this God, you must have a character that fits where this God says he wants to take you. I go to prepare a place, and if I go and prepare a place, I will come again and what? Receive you. Receive you with a mind that is like that of Christ. If you don't have the mind of Christ, you have to Because it's a pure, holy, and honest place. So when we come here, or at home, and as Christians, we are preparing to meet Jesus. Everything that we do, we are preparing. But if you don't know how to prepare, it's a sad affair. God's last day witnesses are bold soldiers of Jesus Christ. The third angel proclaims his message in 
no whisper tone, in no distant manner. He cries in the world. He cries in the world.
is for Allah who is in us. And to give glory to God in us. It's not for us to play and joke. Yeah? And turn up, because when we turn up, we will be serious about the business of God. You hear what he says now? The perils of the last days are upon us. And in our world, we are to walk. Thank <laughs> you. 
unless we know how to prepare, we will go out. She says, our views must be broadened to the importance and scope of the message we are proclaiming to the world. Our views must be broadened. Sometimes our views are just Jamaican views. Now, we must have world views. Look at the world. Look at the world. Let us look at Jamaica. Look at the world. Why the world? That's what I tell you. The father of the man tells you to watch television. I don't, I'm not telling you to watch movies. Watch the news. Because if you never watch the news, I hear the news that fire and snow and all these things, they would know, don't they? And most of the people who are telling you to watch the news, when they do a presentation, The angel of the Lord. 
Just like when they did a rolling golf, golf tournament down at the Italian University of Pennsylvania. I see when they did a conference, they were going to have people who are asleep. Listen to me. Listen to me, sir.
takes us from selfishness and greed. He was the spirit of willingness to serve. 